Hey guys, today we are talking about the iOS 13 Beta 8 that Apple has just dropped for the registered developers. And of course, I went ahead and installed that on my iPhone 10 up here. So today, guys, in this video, we're going to be discussing everything that Apple implemented and changed in that current version of the iOS. And good news also is that we're getting closer and closer to the final release dates of the iOS 13. That's going to be somewhere at the beginning of the September alongside the iPhone 11 events. So I'm super hyped for that. And of course, guys, let's go ahead and dive into all of the features and new changes of that current version of the iOS and let me just talk about that right here in this video. So let's start. So the beta 8 wasn't a big update for my device and this was around 136 megabytes for my iPhone 10 up here and let's go ahead and see the build number for this one as well. Let's click on this one. So this is 17A5572A and this means this is still a beta version and we're not super close to the final release but there's going to be at least one extra or two extra versions of this iOS 13 until we're gonna see the final version of the iOS 13 for every single device. And first of all, guys, I wanted to say how you can install that on your device right now. If you don't have the profile or anything, just go ahead and go to the Safari and now head out to the page apps for iPhone.net and install uh, that profile that you see up here. This is gonna install the application. So go inside of here and then click on the second tab and scroll down until you see this iOS 13. Click on this one and now click on get so this will actually install the profile and you'll be able to install this software updates onto your own device and guys i actually had some problems during the installation or actually before the installation of this uh, beta 8 uh, my device just couldn't show this uh, updates to me in the settings so what i had to do is just restart my device and then it showed me the beta 8 in the settings so i could install it on this iphone 10 up here and now talking about the features and changes of this ios 13 beta 8 so Apple is now polishing this whole thing and they're trying to get it to the best level they can. So they're not adding any new features, but the only thing that I could find in this current version of the iOS is the extra menu inside of the 3D Touch menu in the news. So there is an extra uh, menu up here, the extra, let's say, section that you can choose as well as in the clock. So if you compare that to the previous beta, you will see the difference. Uh, but overall, I couldn't find any changes. They probably will appear uh, here and there somewhere uh, in the next uh, two days uh, but so far I couldn't find any new changes inside of here so of course this should be pretty much it guys for today if you have any questions about the upcoming versions of this iOS 13 let me know in the comments below if you guys like that kind of videos on my channel just make sure you hit the like button so that will be a huge huge support for me and of course guys I really really hope to see you around on my next one and peace out